Hello, I'm Kevin Berger. As the Twin Cities in the state continue to address issues surrounding income and racial disparities, a number of local organizations are on the ground today working to improve the lives and create opportunities for everyone. Minneapolis-based Positive Image is one such organization, and here to tell us about their efforts is Founder and President Terry Austin. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. What do you do at Positive Image? What do you see as your role in the community? Well, I'm the president, and um, our role is to, well, our mission is to strengthen families through fatherhood and youth development programs. So we provide community events, uh, social events that's tailored towards fathers. Why focus on fatherhood? Well, one of our, I mean, I'll say one out of three of our youth will grow up without a father. And so there's so many challenges with dads as far as being absent in the home. And so, so many, uh, so many of our youth grow up without fathers. So it's a serious problem in our community, and we want to do the best we can to address that issue. And how are you doing it? Well, we provide uh, community events for fathers that they can engage with their kids in a, in a very safe environment. And also we try to provide health and awareness of, uh, for fathers as well and other resources that maybe dads may need as well. I've always thought that one of the things that helps stick families together is if they have fun together. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and so one of the things that we try to do is to make sure that we have food, mm -hmm. games, and activities mm -hmm. uh, for dads as well as uh, for their children. And so it's been working very well for us. I know that there's, there's a different special relationship between fathers and sons and fathers and daughters. I, what are you doing to strengthen the relationships between dads and their boys? Well, one of the things that we have is our annual, our, this year is our seventh annual father and sons a dinner that we have. We actually celebrate the uh, Father's Day weekend, which is the third weekend in June every year. Mm -hmm. This year is going to be June 19th through the, the uh, 21st. And we have a three-day event. We have a uh, Father's Day dinner that we have on Friday night. Mm -hmm. We have a golf outing that we do with our youth mm -hmm. as well in the morning time. And then in the afternoon, we have a free barbecue for our families and fathers as well. Then on Sunday, which is actually Father's Day, we have a Father's Day breakfast at one of the uh, nearby churches that we celebrate. What about dads and their girls? I'm glad you asked that question. Mm -hmm. It's one that's really near and dear to my heart. Uh, we just finished up our third annual father and daughter dance that we had back in February. We had over 500 attendees. So I'm very excited about this event that's hosted every year during February. And I think next year it's going to be on Valentine's Day. Oh. So we're very excited about that one as well. You told me it has grown each and every year. Why, why do you think it's become so popular and people well, enjoy it so much? And that's a great question. I, I think it just really hits the nerve of most fathers. And, you know, most of our fathers want to really cherish those moments that we have with our daughters. And so many daughters have grown up without fathers as well. So we really want to take that moment to showcase and highlight the great work that fathers are doing in our community and show the positive images of, great, of some of the, the great dads that we have in our community as well. What's, what happens in that event? How, how do you enjoy it together? It's a lot of dancing. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we also have awards, the uh, fatherhood awards that we give out to our dads as well. We take a lot of pictures as well. We have a lot of great food and dessert. And so it's just a great time for dads to just showcase their daughters, to get dressed up. It's a very elegant event mm -hmm. as well. And so it's just a great time that dads will probably cherish for a lifetime. Probably sets a good example in the community too. Uh, absolutely. And, and not only that, but we also try to showcase that there are great dads in our communities and these great dads are great role models as well. Thanks so much for joining us today to tell us about your work at Positive Image. If you'd like to learn more about a variety of programs that Positive Image offers throughout the year, they have events and workshops, you can learn more at positiveimagemn.org and you can find out how to support their work there as well. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.